welcome back to my channel. Francis Michelle here. I'm so happy that you clicked on this video. Today's video coming at you is going to be my makeup look for girls with glasses. So I did one of these like four years ago on my channel and a lot of you like guys liked it. So I feel like it's time for me to upgrade that makeup tutorial to kind of give you guys a little bit more onto what's been new, what's been going on, what has changed since then because I myself wear glasses on an everyday basis and I feel like when you are a girl who wear glasses, you kind of feel like you don't need to wear makeup just because you have glasses and that is not true. So in today's video, I want to share with you guys what I use, what type of makeup I recommend if you have glasses and I do recommend wearing makeup because you're wearing glasses. Don't hide behind the glasses. Just make sure your face is beat and trust me, the glasses are going to pretty much hide behind your gorgeous face. So if you guys want to see my makeup look, what are my tricks and my tips for girls who wear glasses, then let's go ahead and get started with this video. All right, so I already have my face prepped, as you guys can see. Um, this is a foundation routine that is coming at you pretty soon. If it's not already uploaded, it will be uploaded. This is pretty much, I. you already know how to wear foundation and concealer and set your face. Because if you're here, it's because you want to learn how to do eyes. So um, in this video, I want to share with you guys that just because you wear glasses doesn't mean you don't have to wear makeup. Even though sometimes you just feel like my glasses hide my under eyes, whatever, but it's not the case. Like your glasses are there and it's just pretty much not hiding anything. They're not sunglasses, they're glasses. So I want to show you real quick um, the type of glasses that I wear. I wear these. These are Key Australia. These are their hard wire blue light glasses. Um, and I just put my prescription lens on it and I do have to tell you guys I am blind like a bat Like if you guys see look at that you can see the thickness of my glasses of my lens and look look at my mouth <laughs> You can see sorry Anyway, so I feel like just because you wear glasses you don't really have to skip the makeup I feel like the glasses kind of like Emphasize your eyes to the point where hey, you need to do something with your eyes So that's what we're doing today guys. We're gonna go ahead and do a very simple makeup look um, For your eyes, but just to make sure that your eyes do stand out when you're wearing glasses So for this tutorial, it doesn't have to be the same color. You can choose any color of eye you like This is not where I tell you this is the tip. This is the trick I feel like you can wear any makeup look that you like as long as I feel like as long as the makeup look kind of um what do you call it? Like the eyes kind of pop, like they're a little intense of a color. But let's go for if you go to school or if you work. So let's try to do a more mellow, neutral color on our eyes just because we don't want to look like we're out clubbing at 8 o'clock in the morning on our jobs. So I'm going to be using uh, for this eye look, I'm going to be using the Through My Eyes Eye Look Sarai in ColourPop Cosmetics palette just because I feel it has beautiful neutral colors and I am just I love neutral colors guys I'm a neutral girl so I'm going to prep my um eyes using a base and I'm going to be using um this one here this is a locket uh Kat Von D uh concealer cream the reason why I'm using um a I'm prepping my eyelids on this one is because I want my shadows to kind of pop. I feel that when you use an eyeshadow base, your eye your eyes, your eyeshadow is definitely going to pop. So that's definitely what my tip number one. Make sure that when you're doing your eyes, you use an eyeshadow base so your eyeshadow pops because that's what we want. So I'm using this one because it's sort of like a white out. I feel it kind of just gives me a plain canvas for my um for my eyes. I'm going to start with Wild Soul, which is this one right here. This one right here. And please excuse my ragged nails. Um, when you don't really have time, you end up looking like this. But I will try to get my nails on pretty soon. So um, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to grab a big fluffy brush. And I'm going to use that as my crease transition color. Alright, so with this, I'm just going from the corner of my eye, the end of the eye, 
working my way up to the top of my brow. That's what I'm creating. I'm trying to make sure that my eye stays wide open instead of doing this with my shadow, like doing the, um, the shape of my eye. I'm just sort of bringing it from the outside to the top of where my brow begins. That is where I'm, what I'm doing with my eyes. That will be my transition. Okay, so the transitions color is done. I'm gonna move into um, dark, deepen a little bit of my eyes. I'm gonna do a smaller brush and I am going to, I'm gonna use the color Euphoric, which is this like burnt orange right here. And I'm going to concentrate that on the crease. But I'm just leaving it up to here. As you can see, I'm not going up towards my transition is because it's just going to look weird. I'm just working it on my crease. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and move on to the lids. And I like to do my lids on a little bit of shimmer just to make sure it stands out. I'm going to go for, let me see, because there's two here that are very very pretty. All right, I'm going to go for the color Mesmer Eyes, which is this one right on top, right here. I'm gonna go with Mesmer Eyes, and I'm gonna use a flat shader a brush. And this one has a lot of fallout though, so be very careful, but it's very pigmented. Look, a lot of fallout. So we pack that onto our lid. And I don't know if you noticed, I did not bring it all the way in the inner corner of my eyes because we're gonna use another eyeshadow to make our eyes pop. I'm, I'm going to use the, col the color Lucido here. It's like a champagne-y color, but it's like a highlight color. And we're going to put that on our inner corners of our eyes. The brush is not working, guys. Yeah, my finger works better. Now, you can do either or. You can pack on mascara all of the day. You can do an eyeliner and do mascara and call it a day. Or you can do eyeliner mascara and lashes now this is where it gets a little tricky this is totally up to you guys and i'm going to do one eye with lashes and one eye without lashes but i am definitely going to do liner the reason why i'm going to do liner is because again i want my eyes to pop and i want my eyes to be the center of attention when i have glasses just because i have glasses doesn't mean my eyes are hiding it means my eyes are like out there so Doing an liner on your eyes is going to make sure that your lashes kind of stand out a little bit more and your eyes look bigger. Now, here's the tip and here's the trick, guys. If you do a dark liner, like a black wing eyeliner, make sure that you do not use any liner on the bottom part of your eyes. Why? Because a dark eyeliner on top and then another one in the bottom is going to close your eyes. We don't want our eyes to be closed. We want our eyes to look wide open and inviting so if you work with a black eyeliner by all means go for it if you like it just make sure that you um, do a wing so it kind of brings out the eye not just stay in the um, areas of the lashes just make sure that you do a wing line so your eyes sort of look enlarged and look a little bit more inviting do not do not I repeat do not put an eyeliner on your waterline because it'll just close your eyes. We want to make sure our eyes stay wide and open. If you're going to use a um, liner, I highly recommend, if you're doing like a, like this type of color that I did, I highly recommend using a brown liner. Why? Because it's still dark, but it's not dark enough. It's not so dark that it'll make your eyes close. It still looks inviting. It still looks, it still brings warmth to your, to your eyes, 
but it's still going to stand out. So I like to use a gel liner. So let's move on to um, liner. This liner is from Stilazi Cosmetics. And I love this color, it's like a coppery color. And I'm going to take a angled small brush and I'm going to attempt to create a very small wing line. So I like to start off the outside first and sort of create my wing. All right guys, so I finished so I finished the rest of my face. I did my bronzer, my highlight, and whatnot. All right, so I want you to see the difference between the eye with the lashes and the eye with just mascara. I mean, the difference is really big, I know. But this is just preference. There's people who are easy to apply uh, lashes. You can go ahead and wear lashes. For an everyday look for lashes, I recommend the Whiskies by Ardell. These are the ones that I have on. They are not too much. They're not so dramatic, but at the same time, they give you a pretty big lift to your eyes. It makes it pop. It makes it look more glamorous. It makes it look more alive, I would say, um, rather than just mascara. But I'm the type of person that lately, as my everyday, I don't use lashes. Like I said, I have not popped a pair of lashes in about 10 months, I'm going to say. I haven't popped lashes, so it is a huge deal. As you can see, look how long they are. So also, people with um, glasses, they complain that the lashes like kind of like swing and touch glasses. I mean, it's really up to you. The Demi Whiskies are a little bit long, so you can wear a little bit of the natural. The natural ones are a little bit shorter, but you can still see kind of like your full lashes. Um, I'm gonna put on my glasses so you guys can see what it looks like with glasses. So if I was to wear my glasses with my lashes, they actually do not touch each other. So I think that it would be, I'm sorry, my glasses need to be like tightened. My lashes are not gonna be hitting the frame. So I feel like it's gonna be great. But if you see, there is a big difference um, on the eyes. It's really up to you guys, honestly. With the type of lens that I have, I honestly don't need to wear lashes because they kind of look more like dramatic than what they already are. So my preference with me wearing glasses, I I don't wear lashes, to be honest, with my glasses because my glasses are already thick enough and it just makes my own lashes stand out. So it's really preference. Um, but as you can see, I still have liner on and you can wear the glasses and you can still look presentable. You see how your glasses are not hiding your face. Your face is actually saying, hello, I'm here, even though I have glasses on. So I feel like even though you have glasses, you can still wear makeup, you can still do your eyes and they will definitely stand out. I feel like glasses are an accessory. So. I hate when I hear people say, I don't wear makeup because I use glasses. What do you mean? Like, you're wearing glasses, not sunglasses that cover your entire face. You're just wearing something that emphasizes everything going on in your face. So I feel like you need to draw attention away from the fact that you have glasses and attention to your face. Like, hey, I'm glowing. Look at my look at my highlight. My highlight's popping. You know what I mean? So that's why I really, really hate it when people say, why do you wear makeup if you wear glasses? Well, why not? Like that is when you mostly have to wear makeup. You know, you don't you don't want people to look at you and see your glasses. You want people to look at you and be like, yo, I love your skin. I love your makeup, your highlight popping, your lashes are on point. That's what you have to hear. But anyways, guys, the next tip and trick that I have for you is the type of lip. I feel like kind of bring attention to your face um, by wearing a nice pop of color. Um, I'm even wearing right now a like a peachy color. So I feel like making your lips stand out depending on how you wear your eyeshadow. Because if you do a bright eyeshadow, I recommend toning it down on your lips. If you do a if you do like a nude um 
or like a, like I have right now, neutral colors on your eyes, mm -hmm. then you can wear a little bit more of a color on your lips. So I feel like the last time I did it, I did like a wing line with lashes and then I did like a pop up pink on my eyes, on my lips, which that will work great also. So you can do like a pop up color on your lips and that is going to make it look also cute. Um, you can do like a hot pink or you can do like a, like a red, um, but make sure you keep it nice on your eyes. Um, don't go too much on your eyes. Anyways guys, I really hope this video worked out for you. It kind of will help you um, kind of get like a little bit more into what you can wear when you wear your glasses. And if you did like the video, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit subscribe. And don't forget to hit subscribe right down there. And follow me on my Instagram. It's francis2s.michelle. That is where you will find me most of the time. I try. I really do try. And I will list these glasses down below just in case if you're interested in, a, in buying these glasses. Because I absolutely love my glasses. It's the only pair of glasses I wear every day. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I really hope you liked it. Um, if you have any other requests that you guys would like to see on this channel, let me know. I always like to kind of like go through what you guys are wanting to watch instead of just recording random crap on my channel. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for your love. Thank you so much for sticking till the end. Much besties. I'll see you ladies on my following video. Adios.